Um, let's go uh, talk to some of these band guys. Hey guys, you guys are uh, with one of the bands, I take yeah, it? Yeah, we're LMS band. LMS? LMS? That's yeah. your school? Yeah, Lennox Mill School. Alright, what, what's your name? Um, who are we going to talk to? Can and you're going to be in the parade? Yeah. Okay, and uh, what is your costume here? Mm, just Mexican. Okay, what what does anything represent here? Um, here are the bullets and that's it, that's pretty much it. And since it's Cinco de Mayo, do you know anything about Cinco de Mayo? How um, it came about? Not really. Not really? And where'd you get this, this hat? What do they call a the hat? Um, I don't know. <laughs> All right, hi. I see you got like same kind of costume. What's your name? Sero. And do you know do you know anything about Cinco de Mayo? No. No. How about you? Mm, my name is Jorge. And, and I see you playing a guitar here. What's what's uh, you gonna play in the parade or what? Yeah. So you're a mariachi band guy? <laughs> All right. Because if one city fails, the next city will fail. And what we keep doing is reaching out and coming together. And, and it's like all these kids here. These kids are going to end up growing up and wanting to move to Hawthorne, or they're going to want to stay here in Lenox. And you want them to stay because you want to recycle the homegrown because those are the ones that will reinvest in the community. Oh, no English. I don't speak any English either. I mean, I don't speak any Spanish. <laughs> uh, what's your name? Uh, he's, a li he's a little shy, so... It's certainly uh, cute looking there, though. It looks like a cowboy. What's your name? Uh, Leonardo Barahona. And you with Hawthorne High, I take it? Yes, I am. Okay, and uh, what are you going to be doing in the parade? I'm going to be doing the color guard. That's holding the flags and the rifles, leading the parade. You're going to be out in front? Yeah, out in front. Great, that's uh, quite an honor. Yeah, it is. I'm very proud to be able to do that. Torch stuff. Could you give us a little demonstration of... of Something spinning or something? Oh, well, what I'm about to do right now, it's called the quickie, and I have another one that I call it. We make up our own tricks. But gonna... Right now, I'm gonna do. It's called the quickie. It's basically real simple. Okay, check it out. You can just feel the excitement in the air over here at Lennox Middle School. Uh, everybody's gearing up for this parade and uh, getting ready, getting lined up, and we're going to get out there and set up our cameras and uh, just watch the parade ourselves. So this is uh, Paul Rogers for HCTV saying good, happy Cinco de Mayo, or who knows what it is, Cinco de Mayo. <laughs> That's a lot of fun, and it was a Mexican battle with the French. We know that, and uh, the Mexicans won, so they, they celebrated ever since then, you know, way back whenever it was. So um, we're just gonna go over to the parade now. This is Paul Rogers for ACTV at the Lenox Middle School Parade, Cinco de Mayo Parade. We are in Lenox on Inglewood Boulevard. Parade's about to come. And, uh, do see some fire trucks from Los Angeles County Fire Department. I'm here with uh, my cameraman, Paul Knapp, and uh, he might say something in a little bit here. So what do you think so far, Paul? Well, you know, it just started, so uh, some nice looking fire trucks. Um, just let them go by. Hope there's not a fire here. They have to go to real quick. So, do you get your sunblock on there, Paul? Sure do. Let's see, after the fire trucks. Hi, Hawthorne. We just arrived here at Holly Glen Park, and we're going to go in and check out the Pride Day. They're going to be painting benches and generally cleaning up the park. And so let's just go in and see what happens.
We'll go talk to some people painting a bench over here. Oh, yeah. Hi, good morning. Yeah. What's your name? Cheyenne. Cheyenne? And what, what are you doing here, Cheyenne? Painting. Oh, is this finger painting or what? No. <laughs> yeah, I've got it already. Okay, are you a, a area resident, I take it? Because I haven't heard from you when we drive by here. You live around here? We don't see anyone. And why are you here? Is this your mother here? Yeah. Okay, so uh, what, what are you what are you gonna do besides paint? Anything else? Uh -uh. I called the police and they were here in about ten minutes. Okay. Um, how about we talk to your mom a little bit? Looks like you're doing a pretty good job. Hi. What's your name? Travis. Hi, Travis. What are you up to? I'm painting. You look like you're making a mess. <laughs> what are you doing here this Saturday morning? We're um, cleaning up the Holly Glen Park. And painting? And painting the benches, the walls, getting rid of the graffiti, just basically cleaning up years worth of damage to the park. Oh, you're doing a good job. Thank you. Um, are you a community activist or just a, a concerned, just a concerned neighbor. neighbor? Yeah, my children play at the park and I want them to have a nice play place. And we talked to your two kids a little earlier. <laughs> yeah. Y'all gonna be famous on TV. Yeah, hello. <laughs> <laughs> um, so are you at the park often? Or? Yeah, we come every day, pretty much. My kids play here. And what kind of stuff do they do? Oh, they play on all the equipment and just ride around. And it's a great little park. We want it to stay nice. And have you ever, are you a painter? Do you know how to no, paint? I don't know about paint. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> Looks like you guys are doing a good job. Oh, uh, we're giving it our best shot. <laughs> okay, as you can see, they're still working on this bench. And some of them were in pretty bad shape, people were saying, but uh, it's progressing. We go over here and we'll see the finished product. It looks pretty nice here. Painted, sanded, and ready to go for a picnic. Uh, probably have to wait a couple hours, but. <laughs> That's great. There you go, Hatha. That looks pretty good uh, out here at Holly Glen Park um, for the Pride Day, and certainly was a lot of pride going on and painting. And uh, I even got to paint. They saved me a little spot here, so uh, I just chipped in and then and finished this off. And um, that's that's about it for Holly Glen Park. It was a nice day. bench here and uh, Mara, Mara informed me that we're going to put a plaque on the end of it and in Paul Rogers' bench. Okay, that's it for uh, Paul Rogers out here on Holly Glen Park. Um, everybody did a good job, a lot of sanding, a lot of painting and I'm ready to load up the truck and get out of here.
Governors and American Red Cross National Celebrity Cabinet Member Jane Seymour. Good morning. Thank you for coming. My name is Jay Rodriguez. I'm a member of the National Board of Governors of the American Red Cross. First, I would like to recognize and thank Dr. Robert Bruce. Where are you, Dr. Bruce? Oh, here you are. Principal of Richard Henry Dana Middle School. And Dr. Don Braun, right here, superintendent of the Wishbourne School District. Both of these gentlemen have been very cooperative and helped make this event happen and are great supporters of the American Red Cross here and the Greater Los Angeles Chapter. And also part of the important effort we're making in this campaign that starts today. This morning we're announcing a trip to Kenya as part of the American Red Cross will work with the Kenya Red Cross Society, our global measles partners and local school children as they mobilize communities to bring in children for vaccinations. The overall goal of this initiative is to save the lives of 1.2 million children over five years and to cut the number of measles deaths in Africa to zero by 2005. Now these students were chosen on the basis of an essay which each one wrote describing the importance of helping those who cannot help themselves and the, niece, and the need for peace in this world. So I'd like to introduce you to each one of them and I'd ask you to come and join me when I say your name. Paolo Domal, Nicole Denny, Okay. I think he knows that. So that's a no-brainer. <laughs> what your expectations are for this trip now? I am very excited now that I've met these children because uh, these are really young adults. These are really bright, um, wonderful kids. And um, I think I'm really going to enjoy being with them and, and, um, and seeing what we're going to be seeing. I am anticipating seeing a lot of um, disease. I'm anticipating seeing poverty. I'm anticipating you know, seeing people in a lot of trouble and a lot of need. I'm also anticipating seeing um, tons and tons of kids and parents who are tentatively going to come up and say, you know, what is with this vaccination? And, and, and I believe they're going to be excited and, and happy about it because they'll already know that this is the right thing to do. And, and, and any mother is going to want to keep their child alive, you know, if they possibly can. There's nothing more devastating than to lose a child. I think uh, we are also going to see probably some of the most beautiful country in the world, you know, and, it's, and um, that that also I think you know it's it's a really 